cold in the mountains. And then you hit the sunspots. So I had to do a little bit of actual work um, and found a grocery store, Albert's, Albertson? Albertson's grocery store. Uh, it's got a Starbucks inside of it. So I picked up on the Wi-Fi there. I was gonna go more into Jackson Hole because that's where I'm at right now, it's Jackson, Wyoming. But there was a lot, a lot of people and I don't, I don't wanna be in the midst of all that. So found a quiet spot right in the corner to do some work and now I'm actually headed out of Wyoming to Idaho to meet up with a new friend. Her name is Abby. Um, I connected with her on Instagram. She actually has two bikes. She's got an Indian Scout and a Sportster. And we're gonna go for probably about a three hour loop this afternoon. So super pumped that I get to ride just another day doing this adventure. So uh, I'll see you guys out there. I'll share some, at least some of the roads that we ride. Alrighty. Do you wanna, uh, to get comfortable on it, do you wanna just like run up and down the straightaway for a few times, or you feel like you can go out and go I think I could go out, yeah. Okay. Let's try that. I didn't realize how like low to the ground it is yeah. compared to everything else. Totally oh, it totally is. But this is where I'm more comfortable because before I was like right here mm -hmm. and it was not the best at all. You'll get, you'll like it. It's like so smooth. You're you going to probably make me want to buy. <laughs> Let's go. This is awesome. <laughs> so I'm out riding with Abby. AC Outdoors out in Wyoming, Idaho. Actually, we're in Idaho right now. I am on her 2017. Indian Scout. And she's on her Sportster that she actually has two bikes. So she lent me this one for today, which is fan freaking tastic. Well, this is super comfortable. It's like I talked to her as on the ride here. I was like, I can't believe you live here. <laughs> like once we go through those passes again, it's incredible. So thankful for her lending me this scout today. Not gonna lie. It's pretty comfortable guys. <laughs> but to say I rode an Indian in Idaho. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> You've made this trip for me. myself that I'm actually doing this. I know I said it when I was out in Sturgis too, but like, thank God for internet connections. Because if not, I wouldn't have had this opportunity. This is definitely a lifetime adventure. Not a lot of people can say that they've done it. But this year is all about me pushing boundaries, stepping out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is epic. I wonder what it feels like to her. Like she's used to riding these roads every single day. I feel so tiny. I feel so tiny compared to all of these massive mountains. This baby's got some power! And I'm back to forward controls compared to the low rider I rode at Sturgis. Just was not for me, so I am way more comfortable. This is a little bit more of an aggressive position. the bike but it's not it's not bad at all it's just different you gotta get used to it so we're going to 
to Swan Valley and then kind of looping back around through Jackson Pass. And I rode Jackson Pass just on, or I drove it on my car and it was epic. So I'm so excited to ride that. So we just got some square ice cream in a small town. I don't even remember. <laughs> But I guess that's what it's world famously known for. So I got some huckleberry cheesecake ice cream. Thanks to the recommendation for Abby. And now we're on our way through Snake River, I think it is, or Snake Valley. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just following. She's my guide for today, the scenic tour. We're gonna go through Swan Lake and then head up through Jackson Pass, like I mentioned. That's crazy. This is the Palestines Dam. Dam? Palestines Dam. Wow. I'm not sure how much you can actually see. It is really massive. Wow. Gotta say, riding through some of these passes are way more fun on a bike than they are in a car. <laughs> Especially going uphill. enjoying the ride. Wow. Definitely, what are we at? Like half an hour, 45 minutes? Actually, wait, no, an hour? An hour has went by already? <laughs> and I am comfortable on this bike. Even without a windscreen or a windshield.
than like off-roading on a scout. <laughs> we hit some construction. We got full-on gravel. Oh wow. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to ride that. Good thing all of my rustic road rides prepared me. <laughs> riding but when you're on somebody else's bike it makes it a little more nerve-wracking it's definitely colder when you're not in the sun but it is gorgeous right now I didn't plug it in, so I'm like, well, counting. Ta da! <laughs> I don't want to go home. Well, home is literal right now. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Sure, it's an awesome ride. Absolutely. I stole her bike. What's that? I stole her bike. I don't want <laughs> I know. We probably could have made it, but eh. riding these more than I am. Like, this is steep, guys. <laughs> steep and fast. Especially on a bike that you're not quite used to, but getting pretty comfortable on it. But I want to Thank you, Abby, for this awesome, awesome day. This has made, made my entire trip. Yes, doing part of Sturgis in South Dakota on a bike myself was fantastic. But for me, it's getting to know people, creating connections and friendships, 
and riding with somebody else. I'm not a big on like big group rides, but when you put one or two people together, it's just, it's so much fun. And she's my personal tour guide for Idaho and Wyoming. So I'm glad I was able to share some of that with you because hopefully I'll get a chance to do this again, but I'm not sure when that will be. We'll probably run into each other doing another female moto meetup event, but it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot of babysitter prep to be able to come back out here and, and ride again, especially at this point of the, the summer. This would be fantastic in the fall. I can't even imagine what it looks like. Like our falls in Wisconsin, we get full color, but here has to be just gorgeous too. And we're in Idaho again. <laughs> so I can say I've ridden in Wyoming and Idaho. That's convenient. But I wanted to give one last shout out to Abby. Definitely check her out on Instagram. It's AC Outdoors. You won't be disappointed. This is a badass chick. I absolutely love meeting females like this. She's a powerhouse. So thank you, lady, for letting me ride your beautiful Indian Scout. Let me explore your state with you on two wheels. You've made this one epic ride. That's for sure. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I'm beyond ecstatic. Like, it's kind of like a, I feel like an out-of-body experience. Pinch me moments that I'm actually doing this. And then I get to share it with you guys too. So, definitely if you loved this video, let me know. Give me a comment below. Subscribe. You know that whole entire jazz that goes along with the YouTube channel. But I am just beyond thankful that I can share some of this riding with you. In different places that maybe you've been to before, I've personally never been to before. But to share the routes with you and if you ever, if you are ever in this area, these are some of the roads that you should definitely check out.